di subito la parola alla signora Menekan, che è membro eh, del Consiglio d'Europa e che eh, oltretutto è anche il vicepresidente della nostra Assemblea parlamentare, oltre a essere membro di varie commissioni. La parola è, quindi è per lei, signora, cercando di rispettare veramente i termini di tempo eh, che ci sono stati dati, perché siamo già oltre lo spazio che ci era consentito. Thank you very much. I quickly uh, start by thanking the North and South uh, Center for organizing this timely and important uh, conference. I also would like to thank Deborah for her contributions to the, the organization and to uh, the uh, happening of this event, and also for a delicious lunch we had uh, downstairs. Uh, and I also would like to thank uh, Sonia for her efforts in, the, uh, in our Equality Committee in the Parliamentary, Parliamentary Assembly, and also for alerting me to this uh, conference. Um, I was, I'm coming from Tunisia. Uh, I mean, I come from Turkey, but I'm, uh, I just arrived from Tunisia this morning. I was an observer, uh, election observer. I'm too tired to, <laughs> you can tell. Um, and uh, I was very impressed. I, must, I would like to share with you that I was very impressed with the conduct of the elections and also with the patience and enthusiasm of the uh, Tunisian people, which uh, really enheartened me to, uh, about the democ democratization of, this, of the region. And also I was uh, very pleased to hear our uh, Libyan uh, uh, academician about uh, the advancements in, uh, in Libya and women's uh, commitments and uh, efforts, contributions to the movement. And I was very, very, very pleased to hear that. And I would like to share with you what we do at the Council of Europe and also uh, what we do in Turkey. Uh, I will uh, share with you about the advancements in Turkey in the area of uh, women's movements and also uh, within our party, uh, which is very uh, vital for the uh, women's rights and uh, women's um, involvement into, in the whole democratization process. Um, I join to those who believe that democracy can only become inherent and sustainable only if women are involved. Free and empowered women raise free and confident next generations who can produce, invent, innovate, and lead. And I also believe that it's only up to the women to acquire and hold on to their rights, whether men are involved or not. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe continues to call on its member states to promote equality between women and men in all areas of life, improve access for women to public, political, and economic decision-making posts, combat discrimination, fight against unfair compensation in business life, and combat uh, violence against women. We continue to share our experiences in this area in our capacity as committee members. We learn from each other, we reward good practices and get inspiration from them, and we cri criticize unacceptable standards. The gender equality perspective is almost sought in the uh, debates and decisions on many issues. Um, the needs and role of women during financial crisis, the glass ceilings, the needs of migrant women are some of the specific issues we, we deal with uh, in the uh, Parliamentary Assembly. I hereby would like to remind you that the Council of Europe extends its expertise in building democracy and equality to the countries in democratization process through its partnership for democracy status, which uh, Mr. Sabela just mentioned. They have joined just recently. The, uh, it was Morocco, the, the, the first one to join. And then now we have um, um, Palestine on the, uh, who just joined uh, into this program. And we have the application from Kyrgyzstan. And uh, we're expecting to have more applications from uh, the new uh, democracies uh, coming uh, to uh, take part in this partnership for democracy status. I would also like to share with you our experiences with equality issues in Turkey and our efforts to empower Turkish women to be active agents of social change in Turkey. Women were given uh, their citizenship uh, rights, uh, including uh, to vote and stand for elections in the 1930s. However, despite the changes in legislation at the time, the implementation did not turn out as expected. While the West upgraded the right, their rights of women, 
Turkish women's rights remained mainly as they were instituted in the 30s. Women did bec become active in the business world, academia, medicine, legislation, etc., and other, in other social cir circles, but many underprivileged women could not enjoy the, the same rights as uh, others. Our parties, my, my AK party's reforms about women's issues after we came into power in 2002 were referred to as revolutionary by many international NGOs. The reforms first aimed to upgrade the legal background on equality issues. The most significant legal changes took place in the Turkish civil and penal codes. The civil code now recognizes women as equal partners in the family and social life and in, in, in all walks of life. Mothers and fathers now have equal say in the rights of their children. Women do not need the permission to work or travel, and all fam family property acquired during marriage are now equally shared upon divorce. The new penal code eliminates all references to chastity, morality, and shame as excuses in crimes against women, defines sexual crimes for the first time, criminalizes rape in marriage, and eliminate sentence reductions for honor killings. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the work of women's organizations. Uh, they have campaigned tirelessly for these changes. They have cooperated with our official institutions, and uh, they're still the watchdogs for the implementation of all the legislation we have made. Significant measures were put into force to combat uh, violence against women in 2006. Turkey is the first country to sign the Council of Europe Convention on Combating Violence Against Women, which was open to signature in Istanbul last May. These legal up upgrades were supported by specific action plans to improve the status of women in areas of education, health, and employment. Various campaigns were put into effect uh, in uh, education, health, business areas. One interesting campaign that I like to talk about, always talk about, is the conditional cash transfer for education program. It transfers funds to most needed parts of the population to ensure children's basic education in order to strengthen the status of women uh, within the family and in society, the cash is transferred only to mothers. Collection of these funds necessitates the women to get out of their villages and travel to the nearby town centers. There is social change in every aspect of this campaign. Women, the, these rural women, receive money for the first time, open bank accounts, fill out forms, receive banking services, shop around in town. With this campaign, many women became part of the larger society and they're enjoying it too. Since the establishment of our party, my AK party, women have been at the center of the party activities too. They assume responsibilities at all levels of party management. The work of women throughout, through its women's branch has been instrumental for the party's success. I believe that AK Party's women's branch has created the most significant social transformation for women in Turkey over the past 10 years. I would like to talk about our women's branch a little bit. It currently have, our women's branch has, currently has 1,600,000 registered members and 300,000 of them are active members, daily active members. The branch run by a group of female professionals in a highly institutionalized structure is a well-organized, well-expanded network of women all over Turkey. The network is comprised of women in every province, town, and neighborhood of Turkey. Aside from campaigning activities, they run training programs and workshops for women on various areas such as employment, childcare, uh, and produce recommendations to parliament on legis legislation related to women's issues and respond to the needs of women in their neighborhoods in difficult situations. In Sivas, I'm elected from Sivas this time, uh, this term. It's uh, uh, in the middle of central Anatolia. It's a, a smaller town with 600,000 people. Um, when, I when I ran for the elections for this term, the women's branch was the most active part of the party organization. I, I proudly would like to share with you my experiences with, my, with the women in, in, in Sivas. During the campaign period, every day, I would be welcomed by many women in front of the party offices. They are from all ages, all different backgrounds. 
We visited villages, distributed pamphlets, organized media appearances, and spoke to every woman and man we could reach. All were immensely motivated by the work they did and we did together. They felt useful, they had found a purpose, they felt like they were making a contribution. Many were housewives and were leaving their home for the first time in their lives. They had been introduced to new social circles, traveled to different uh, places, and learned important skills such as public speaking, negotiation, and reporting. I remember the team responsible for social activities showing me their monthly activity reports. I was so impressed with their diligence and quality of their work. They had kept pages and pages of records with pictures, dates, notes. I, it felt like the work had, been, had given them uh, a much desired sense of responsibility, which had raised their self-confidence and highly increased rate of active civic participation. Especially during elections, many worked longer hours than their husbands. They were able to convince their husbands to the importance of the work for them. The result was that the men started preparing meals in Sivas for their wives and served their wives. The women continued to be engaged in the party even after the elections. They came in numbers to sign up to become new members. Okay, um, our women's branch has been an excellent means uh, and outlet for those women to be uh, engaged in social and political affairs. In addition to contributing to the party's political success, I believe the AK party's women's branch is one of the best examples of grassroots democratization movement in Turkey. And it should serve as an example to any effort aiming to make women agents of economic and social change. It took us many years to institutionalize our uh, women's branch. We have accomplished a lot, but we still have a long way to go. Please allow me to extend our best wishes to our sisters in their journey to become, to become active agents in this, in the, this, uh, of the social change. I would like them to know that we're ready and willing to share our experiences and learn from each other on joint projects. Thank you.